Hello, hello, what is up everybody? My name is Rahul and in this video, I'll be going through five cyber security project ideas that you can implement right now. But before I begin with this video, I would like to tell you that I have already made a six part video series on this topic. All of these videos come along with their source code as well. So I would highly recommend you to go through each one of them. If you are an absolute beginner, they will work fantastic for you. So let's begin. So first of all, I would like to tell you that in case of a penetration testing or a vulnerability assessment, the maximum amount of time is taken by the reconnaissance phase. So what if you could automate it to an extent? So this is where Vapalizer comes into play. So for example, I have YouTube opened up right here. So what if I press on this cute little icon, you'll see here that it shows me the technologies that are present here. So this is exactly what Vapalizer does. So in order to create a Vapalizer, you will first need to learn how to create your own extensions. Uh, the guide is present on Mozilla's website. You can go there and read it out or learn it out. You'll need to learn about HTTP responses and requests. Learn about regular expressions so that you can grab through certain keywords. For example, Facebook or how do you know that Cloudflare is being used to get a basic idea of how it is how Vapalizer was created in the first place. The source code for Vapalizer is present on the Vapalizer's GitHub page. You will need a basic knowledge or understanding of HTML, CSS and JavaScript to create your own extension for that matter. If you do not want to create your own extension, no worries. There is a website called built with that does exactly the same. So you can exactly copy that idea in and create it as, create it as your own project. So for example, you can you do not want to create Vaporizer, no issues. Why don't you create a website wherein you enter the name of the URL or you enter the URL for which you want to find technologies for and this website or the backend will find what exactly what technologies are being used based on the source code and the HTTP request and responses that it gets. Then why don't you uh, if you are interested in cryptography then creating your own cipher will be an excellent choice for you because it will get you to learn about the mechanism of a asymmetric and asymmetric ciphers but i won't recommend you to use it in the real world because it will be insecure i did learn about creating my own cipher i created one for myself after i learned about aes sha and all of on, on the families of these ciphers this is a great example for you to learn about cryptography the next example that I'm going to talk about is something that every almost every website needs. So this is called the password strength checker. So what it does is it creates or it checks the strength of the passwords based on the length and the special character that a web, that the user enters. The next in the list is a website builder. So all of us know that once an attacker or you'll have hand over hashes, you will need to crack them. But how do you crack them? You need word lists. So either you can use an appropriate word list from hosted on GitHub or any other website for that matter. But creating your own word list has its own ways. So what can you do? You can create a tool, for example, like Sewell that you have on Linux that scrapes word list or unique words from a website or you can create a bunch of passwords or word lists that are generated based on the input that a user provides for example name pet names favorite food place year and date of birth so thank you guys this is it for the video i hope you learned something from this don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you